Hey, what's up? It's your boy Serrano. Welcome back to another video. Hope all is well. So I was actually um, looking at different options for AR and VR. In that process, I got an email from a company called Xreal and they actually sent me an email and asked me that if I give an honest review of their products, which is the Beam Pro and the Air 2 Pro, that I could keep the product. So everything I'm about to say is my honest opinion. So we're gonna be taking a look at these two devices right now, but make sure you guys stay locked in to the end of the video. And if you're brand new to the channel, I truly appreciate you for coming through if you're new. But if you're already a part of the crew, salute. This is the best um, experience that you're probably gonna get when it comes to the budget price. Um, and this is going to be a solid product and I'll make sure I leave the cheapest links down below. So X real has designed their own device, which actually can work together with their AR glasses. And so these combine to give you a very versatile experience. And that experience is going to be improved drastically from other devices that offer AR for several reasons that we're going to get into. So I'm going to get into that in just a second. But what I wanted to talk about is what this combination can offer you. So here are the features of the main two products that you're getting. You're getting access to millions of Google Play Store apps with this device, the Beam Pro, which is going to provide you pretty much an, a, 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 a stock Android experience. It works just like a smartphone, except it doesn't have a SIM card. But I think in the future, you will see a version that actually have a SIM card. This does have a, a button right here, which we're going to talk about m later on, as well as volume rockers and a power button, 250 megapixel cameras, as well as two ports right here. One for the glasses, which you can actually attach via this wire that comes with it and then you get like this ergonomically shaped wire that goes straight into the headset so you plug that in to the glasses and then you plug it in on the other side to your phone and these also um are going to offer you an extremely immersive experience so let's start off with the unboxing so when it comes to the X Real Air 2 Pro, these glasses have everything that you need right out of the box. They're very lightweight when it comes to these glasses. So they're gonna be extremely comfortable with the matte finish all the way around it. And it even gives you a, you know, a lens protector as well as a case and a little microfiber cloth inside the package. So you can actually use the this cover on the glasses when you're in very bright environments, something like, you know, the beach, you could pop this on. You also do have a uh, small, medium and large um, nose cushions right here. So these are actually replaceable so that you could find the one that actually fits your face the um, the best way. So inside of the box, you also do have um the um you know it's going to come with this you know cover right there and that's going to be able to detach and detach you can also get a prescription on the glasses as well which is also included so all you have to do is uh you know purchase that separately everything that you see in this video was actually sent by x real so i just want to be completely transparent but I do get to keep the product. So that's basically the agreement. And I get to basically talk about this and give some of my feedback. So with that being said, these this these two paired together are a perfect combination. So you're getting this device, which actually is reminiscent of like a, a Pixel phone or something like that, or like a Nexus device. It doesn't have facial recognition or a fingerprint sensor, but it does give you Android right out of the box. And what I like is that this is very touch friendly. You're going to be getting the Nebula app, which is going to give you 3D um, access to like millions of apps with 3D using the Nebula OS built inside of this device that they actually developed. And so it has those dual wide angle cameras, which is allowing you to, you know, take photos and videos through spatial 
um, technology, which will actually give you an immersive like environment as well. So you actually get two different presets when it comes to watching content, medium and large, when you're when you actually have the glasses on and it gives you that window you're looking at. And it's going to give you um, the ability to run two apps simultaneously and a third one on this device. So it's going to give you a smartphone like, you know, operating build uh, and, you know, over the Android 14 with the Nebula OS baked inside of here, which is what gives us the ability to use these glasses for basically any Android app that you want to use. I also did notice that I was actually able to plug it in to the Logitech G Cloud and play directly from the glasses without any downloading any software. So it was an extremely um, immersive experience is everywhere I turned my head, the window stayed with me. But once I plugged it back in here, you have the option for two different modes. So you have a follow mode where it's wherever you turn your head, it's going to follow you. And then you have a locked in position. You also do have the ability to get like this little mouse pad on here and it allows you to customize the screen, make it larger so it could expand out to like um, a really wide. It's almost like a theater like experience. So when it comes to the X real Air 2 Pro glasses, these have a stunning quality with the Sony 0.55 micro LED display in each, uh, you know, lens is going to give you that eye catching brightness up to 500 nits, electrochromatic dimming so that it gives you three levels of adjustment where you could press this button right here and it'll actually dim the glasses uh, to three different shades one's really dark one's medium and one's kind of transparent where you can still see your environment around you but you still have that content displayed in front of you so it's going to also offer you optimized colors with the world's first tuv color accuracy certified ar glasses and improved ergonomics as far as the design and all day comfort you actually get three different levels of adjustment three different levels right here where it clicks right into place and you can hear that snap so it can you know give you that perfect fit when you're using it and having that on it's actually 10 percent lighter at 72 grams of weight which is, for me I, I was able to use this for hours on end and and i didn't feel any discomfort when i had these on they're also gonna have um you know um thinner um, they're going to be thinner and they're almost going to look like real glasses. Some people might be able to tell that they're, they're not sunglasses, but they look just like sunglasses when you first look at them. So it has this very nice elastic, um, you know, um, part that goes over your ear. So when, you, when it's on your ear, it's not stiff and rigid. So it's going to be able to, you know, it's not going to put pressure on your um, the top of your ear, which is actually pretty cool. So it feels very, very um, nice when you have it on there for long periods of time. And you also do get that eye comfort with the blue light, um, the low blue light and uh, flicker free TUV certification. So you're not going to feel dizzy and, and it's not going to be blurry and stuff like that when you're using these headphones. Now, um, after I did unbox these and I put them on, I used them for several days before, um, you know, anything before I even started to, I just wanted to see what they were capable of. And the, the, the main things that these are going to give you is be, being able to watch movies in a portable private cinema. And so that's probably the main thing that I would be doing with these. I will usually I'm watching Netflix. I throw that on prime video as well to be and pluto tv but you also have the option to download millions of apps on the play store which makes these probably the best option to go with if you were looking for an ar headset so i just wanted to throw that out there that these are so versatile i was using these primarily to watch videos on youtube as well and when you have the beam pro in hand you can also use the third app with the two apps side by side or just you can uh, lock it in the place and you can wherever you turn um, your head it'll be locked so you when you turn you'll see like the outline of the black but you'll still see the screen but if you go outside of the screen when you turn it kind of gets blocked off so maybe 
um, if you if you just customize the screen to make it fit in the center, you'll start to see that not happen as, as much. So it wasn't a big deal for me, but I definitely think that these worked pretty much perfectly 95% uh, of the time. Um, plugging it into the, the, the Nebula OS um, operating device right here is very straightforward and it's just basically plug and play so there's no learning curve you're getting um so you're getting that that 3d um cinema like experience wherever you go i went to a a a, a, bu a bubba tea a bobo tea or whatever you call it like those drinks or whatever and i got some sushi and i was just in the restaurant <laughs> eating and um enjoying a meal while watching netflix which was crazy because um, I could still look around my environment and still kind of be aware because you can also plug in a pair of headphones on these or you could just use the built in speakers, which get loud enough when you're in an outdoor environment so you could still hear what you're listening to, but still be aware of your, your surroundings at the same time. So, like I said, the second way, um, the first way is you're going to be using this is to watch a lot of content through apps that you download on the Play Store. And then the, the second way is gaming. So like I said, I plugged in, I plugged in my Logitech G Cloud directly and I was able to play it with that. I also have a lot of portable controllers that I plugged in directly to, like I, I um, just used the Bluetooth to uh, connect it to the, the Beam Pro and it worked perfectly fine with using Xbox Cloud and any game that I actually played in the Play Store worked perfectly fine as well. So the gaming experience is going to be a, a level up from looking at a stationary um, display in front of you, like a tablet or a laptop or a PC or even a smartphone. It's going to be like more of a 3D entertainment cinema in front of you because wherever you turn, it's going to follow you. It's also going to be very interactive and immersive and you could even keep it stationary so you could walk away. But when you turn back, you'll still see the image in front of you. The split screen option will give you the ability to flip between apps. You could scroll through all of your apps on the, the home menu with the button and the mouse and the pointer is going to work just like a laser pointer it's going to basically wherever you move the beam pro it's going to virtually point at the virtual display so that's going to be very very immersive now the third way you can use this is to create your own virtual office anywhere and you can use this as a companion when you're traveling and editing videos maybe working on some spreadsheets um, it gives you the ability to have special fonts to improve the, the display the clarity and the uh, brightness so there is a button built into the glasses which allows you to customize the brightness so you can make it higher or lower depending on your personal preference and so you basically get the ability to reduce motion blur um, enjoy enhanced images with minimized flicker and um, optimized 2D rendering on spatial screens ensures stability. So it has a dedicated space for optimization that's going to reduce any flickering issues. The last thing I wanted to talk about is that you do get that camera on here. Um, so when you plug in the phone with the glasses, you can actually view your 3D content of images on your phone through the glasses and so you can play those black and enjoy memories from like vacations that you took you could watch the 3d spatial images and videos and it has this this feature where when you turn your head you can kind of look around and see all the images that you took in the library in a three-dimensional effect which is very very it's crazy um you just have to see it it's very hard to um explain through this video but i did some screen recordings to try my best to show you guys what it looked like so overall i definitely think that this will probably be your best option when it comes to ar headsets right now especially because it's lightweight it's it's uh you can travel with it wherever you go it's it's actually very comfortable and it's not going to hurt your eyes when you wear it for long periods of time. I also like the fact that you could customize the windows 
make them bigger or smaller, use two windows at the same time and a third one on the device. And you can still look down and see everything around you while you have the glasses on. And then that customized tint on the glasses where you can actually press the button right here allows you to make it a transparent um, like filter so you can still kind of see what's around you. So yeah, this is my thoughts on the X-Beam Pro as well as the Air 2 Pro. Let me know what you guys think about the AR experience from Xreal. Would you actually purchase it? The overall package for this device right here, if you buy it separately, is $199. And you can use the glasses with other, a like use this with other AR glasses, but it's gonna work the best when you combine it with these two products together. And so, like I said, um, yeah, it's going to be very nice for someone who just wants to enjoy AR without having to break the bank. So this is going to be $199 and then you could actually get these glasses as well. This is the 6 gigabyte model with 128, but you can get an 8 gigabyte model as well as one that has uh, 256 internal storage but just keep in mind you will be able to actually expand the storage on here up to a terabyte so i definitely think x real executed this whole um concept um exceptionally well to give us the best experience when it comes to virtual reality or whatever you want to call it that 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 ar experience that augmented reality so let me know what you guys think. And if you found this video helpful, just type down below. I'm still here. So I know you're still kicking it with me. And I just want to remind you to hit the like button so we can get this video out to more people. And I'll hit you back. I'll check you guys later. Thank you for staying tuned in. And shout out to Xreal for sending these out so I could check out this really good product that I definitely would suggest you try out for the first time. I'll check you guys later. Peace. Later, crew.